quick reminder today, I haven't talked about this in a, little, in a little while, and it might be the most important theme that I come back to over and over again. And I've got two new examples of it from recent coaching that I've been doing. And that theme or idea is simply, you do not do what you know you're supposed to do, period. And especially those of you watching this video, which is just a very small chunk of people relative to our, our broader audience, if you're watching this, then you've done a lot of studying, you've done a lot of learning, you've done a lot of instruction. And so you have a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of information up here. And I, I just worked I, over the last week or so, I've worked with a bunch of different students in person. And it always highlights this to me, especially when I work with repeat students, students that have done coaching with me multiple times who are like my super fans and consume all the content and everybody else's content too, not just mine, but they have like unlimited knowledge in their head, but their body just still doesn't do it. And it's not because they're doing it wrong. It's not because they're uh, a bad student. It's not because they're a bad athlete. It's just because it takes time to download our knowledge into our body and it takes the right training. It takes the right repetition, it takes takes the right focus. And so like in the case of the doubles camp that I did about a week and a half ago, two of the students had previously done it and they were coming back to do the strategy clinic again. And they had made big improvements since the last time I saw them, but there was a, a whole like long checklist of things for each of them that they were still not doing, which is, which is why I use video because we can all just sit down and look at it and they can see right in front of them, yeah, I was focused on X, Y, or Z. So like a specific example example of this is when the ball's at the baseline player and doubles and you're covering the middle and you're in the net position and your partner back behind you on the baseline is hitting the shot, you should be covering the center of the court. It's kind of back to towards the, the T, like the center of the service line. And you're not supposed to leave that spot because you're supposed to guard the middle until the ball gets past the other net player until your partner hits it past the other net player you are covering the middle you are kind of the last line of defense there and player after player after uh player as we did the analysis during this clinic we're like yep i get it i get it i get it and we'd sit back down again look at the video and everybody was leaving the middle and just leaving the middle wide open and so it had nothing to do with their intelligence, had nothing to do with their physical like ability. It's just that we all have these habits, tactics included, like where we position, where we stand, what we look at, when we move. And it takes time to rewrite these habits. So even if you come see me every year for like five years, some of the stuff that you have learned from me in year one it's still not going to be there in year five. You can't just decide to wipe all your habits like clean off the slate and just instantly like just pow, snap, and all of your habits are like new, better improved. It Like life doesn't work that way, especially when it comes to physical improvements, like mechanical things, things, technical things, take time and repetition and focus. So another example had to do with targets, shot selections. The last student I worked with just a couple of days ago is trying to get up to the four five level, but he has this old habit from when he was a three five player. He's currently competitive at four zero, and he has this bad habit from being a three five player where he'll get control of a point and then just hit this like dink shot, where like he's getting the short sitter that just wants to be pounded and he's coming in and just hitting this like he's trying to like be cute and, he, and he's trying to like make me I was playing points against him singles points and and he was just hit this like nothing shot to the middle of the court when he has total control over the points and we we sat down like immediate we did two hours of training together two hours of points I pointed it out to him was one of the first things we talked about and by, towards the end, like he just kept doing it because it is just like so ingrained. And it got to the point where he would hit the shot and immediately start like going like, oh no, like I did it again. Because this is self, this is subconscious stuff. This is, this is like ironed in, grooved in. It, it has nothing to do with our skill or knowledge or awareness or intelligence or any of that. It's just something that's hardwired in. And so 
it do, don't please don't fall for the trap that I've done the lessons, I've done the studying, I've done the learning, and so I've mastered X, Y, or Z. There is a gigantic list of things, a huge list of things for you that you know you're supposed to be doing, and most of them you're probably assuming that you are doing that you are not doing. Those are the most dangerous things. Those are the things that will hold you back the most. Because if you just keep marching on down the line to more and more and more advanced things, and you just step over really fundamental, basic things, then you're like, oh yeah, I do this, and I do that, and I do the other thing, like the basics. But in reality, you're not doing those basics, your game is gonna be held back. You're not gonna keep advancing, even though you keep focusing on more advanced stuff because the stuff at square one still isn't being executed. But you're, you're like, oh yeah, I definitely do that because I've heard it so many times. I've taken so many lessons and like I, I know this is the sticking point. This, this is where players get stuck, and especially the super passionate ones, the ones that are willing to keep investing and keep learning and keep taking lessons, uh, keep paying for more and more lessons. Uh, more and more at camps and like clinics. And you need, at a certain point, you need to use this, you need to use video and find out like for real, for real, what are you actually doing? And don't rely anymore on like the word of your coach. I'm not saying they're lying to you, but they can't see everything. Only the camera can see everything. Don't rely on your teammates telling you, oh man, like you're, you've, you're so much better. You probably are better but you have to figure out what are the things that you've stepped over that are still exposed, that are still big gaps. You have to learn those things. And it's just fascinating to me. Now, now that I've been doing this a long time and, and I get these repeat students, it's fascinating to me to see them circle back around. I see them again in a year or two years and see like, okay, so what things have you actually checked off and now subconsciously, you are really doing it like big, like high five. That's huge. That's amazing. But for me as the coach who, who wants people to obviously keep getting better, what's even more interesting to me is what are the things that in the last year or two you thought you've mastered, but surprise, you're not doing these things yet. That's the process. That's what it takes to keep getting better. So I hope I'm... Hopefully, I don't know. Part of me feels like hopefully like this is doesn't just bore people because I keep coming back around to this and I keep coming back around to it precisely because it keeps happening. It was again and again and again and again. And so, um, yeah, it really is actually that important. It really is actually that prevalent. And so that's why I'm reminding you again because I, I want to make sure you keep reaching your goals too and I want you to get stuck. So hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.